Hi, hello. You see, the biggest enemy of the microscope, the biggest enemy is dust. Dust is a problem on a variety, for a variety of reasons. Of course, um, it not only disturbs the image quality when you make a picture, um, but it can also be harmful for the optics because when the dust collects on the optics and on the parts, uh, then also when you clean the optics, uh, the dust might scratch uh, the surface. And also, um, over the years when dust collects, for example, in the gears um, of the microscope, uh, in the focus knobs and so on, then there is oil in there and then this will solidify and it will make uh, the focus knobs uh, difficult to turn. So this is, uh, dust is a problem for, for, uh, for, for many reasons. Now, the thing is, um, there are those little compressed air bottles, which actually don't uh, contain air, um, that you can buy, and they're used for de-dusting, uh, for example, computer keyboards. Now, I tried, or I was actually did not try them, but I was thinking about actually using them um, for uh, de-dusting the microscopes when I discovered or when I read that actually this is really dangerous to do. Uh, because this is not, this is not, in most cases, it's not compressed air, but it, there are some organic substances in there, um, and uh, there is uh, the possibility that if you try to de-dust your microscope with that, there's going to be some kind of, a, I don't know, a, a layer, a coating on the optical surface um, that... Uh, of the because of the impurities um, in the con in the uh, in the can, so um, I was not able to find any concentrated, uh, not concentrated. I was not able to find any compressed air canisters. So I decided to make one myself. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did that. And I'm just going to show you very quickly. It's really a very simple construction. Um, all you need is um, you this uh, this air blow gun. Very cheap. Uh, I bought this from a local hardware shop, but you can also buy this uh, online, of course. And then a plastic bottle. Um, I probably would use a bigger one right now uh, because uh, then uh, you, there is more uh, compressed air that can be uh, contained and then it lasts longer. Um, and uh, you fill it up uh, with a bicycle pump um, and then uh, you are able to use it for a couple of seconds. Um, but the, um, yeah, the uh, air f uh, speed is fast enough to actually really remove dust. The most difficult thing. Uh, was actually connecting uh, the uh, the gun, the air gun, uh, to the cap here uh, to make it airtight. This was really a headache, and I tried several possibilities, but this one luckily could be screwed on, so it's airtight right now. Okay, but uh, I'm going to show you now how I actually made this. So, hello, I'm going to show you now how to make a de-duster, an air de-duster. Um, I got this uh, from a local hardware shop. Um, I think it's called an air gun, okay, and uh, there's an air con there's an air connection down here and of course a plastic bottle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect uh, this air gun now to the cap of the plastic bottle and then I can pump up uh, the plastic bottle with uh, a bicycle pump, um, an air pump and uh, then I'm able to use, at least that's the idea, I'm able to use the whole construction uh, to de-dust my microscope and also my computer. I've not tried this yet so I don't know whether it's going to work. I hope the ball is going to be strong enough to actually withstand the high pressure um, but we'll see. So the first thing that we have to do now is, is we have to make a hole into the cap and I have to seal the hole tight um, using a glue gun okay and that's what I'm gonna do now I tried to seal this uh, with a glue gun uh, but this really didn't work um, it was not airtight um, and also the glue did not really stick very well it didn't stick at all um, so this was actually a, a try which I had to completely uh, discard it didn't work so I managed to get it through the cap. In the process, I hurt myself a little bit. Okay, and now the next thing is, is I have to use a glue gun or some silicone uh, to make the whole thing airtight because this here is not airtight yet, of course, okay? Total failure, um, it's not airtight. Okay, I can even turn this here. Yeah. So I have to find a different solution of making this airtight. I now managed uh, to detach uh, the connector and I made the hole um, in a little, little bit bigger. And now I'm going to try to connect it directly like this. Okay, this is now how it looks like. Okay, and I really made it very tight. It's very stable now. I'd be surprised uh, if any air could go through. Now when uh, pumping up uh, the bottle, um, that is also a little bit uh, difficult because you have, to, you have to do two things at the same time. You have to, of course, pump it up by pressing down the, the piston of, of the bicycle pump. And at the same time, you have to open the valve here to allow the air to go in. 
okay? Um, and then you have to close it again, and then you pull up uh, the bicycle pump again, and then you, when you compress the air again, and then you have to open it again, the valve. So you have to coordinate uh, two movements at the same time. I don't want to put in much more than a bar and a half because I don't know whether the bolt's going to explode or not. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough. So and now I would like to show uh, to you how the thing actually works uh, in real life. I'd like to show you some uh, things now in action, so to say. Okay, so let's try it again. Uh, let's try to blow up the balloon and let's see how much air there is in there. Okay, so that's basically the bottle. It's uh, pumped up to one and a half bars. And uh, it's gonna pop. Still plenty of air in it, okay? Okay. And now the test. Seems to work. So well, this is now the test. Let's see how strong it is, okay? Whee! Ah, strong enough, strong enough. Now we have to clean it up again. Does work quite okay, well. Okay, well, uh, this was it. I uh, hope uh, that uh, the video provided some important or relevant information for you. I hope uh, that uh, it was a little bit interesting. Please, uh, I would like to ask you, please subscribe to the channel. I think that's really important because otherwise the videos do not rank very highly, and then that is a problem uh, also for other people finding the videos. And I would like to also say, then, of course, goodbye and have a nice day.